what's it like to be a grandfather now? Well, it's great. It's great. You know, I, I've been a grandfather for 13 years. Jules, you know, Solange's son. Yeah, oh, right. You know. Absolutely, right. But you're, you're now a grandfather with how many? Four. Four, four kids. Yeah. Right. Uh, but, you know, the, the, I always say it's like, I want you to be three years old. So when I say, hey, let's go, Grandpa, go get some ice cream, you can say, okay, Grandpa. You know, I, I, I love when you're kids and three and younger, but I like to give you back to your mom. Uh, when you're three and older, then we can hang out. So, right. so hadn't gotten there yet with the twins, but, uh, uh, you know, Jules is playing basketball. He's, you know, I'm, uh, he, this is a time that he needs his grandpa, and I play basketball, and we mm -hmm. can talk, and he's a teenager now, and so I'm looking forward to the summer. Did you see the, uh, the video of Blue Ivy uh, buying the art? I did. Bidding, bidding 19000 for the for the art? I did. I did. She's a, she's a real character. She reminds me a lot of her mother. Her mother was like that. Um, you know, because the memes mm -hmm. become a, a whole thing now in today's generation. And uh, there's this one meme that I thought was kind of funny. Blue Ivy confronting the twins when they keep asking why Beyonce only brings her everywhere. Yeah, I mean, obviously it's funny. It's basically, you know, Blue Ivy telling the kids that they have, she has a career now. Well, <laughs> I, I, for me, it's, uh, you know, when I researched my family, um, there was three areas that my family, uh, entrepreneurship, you know, my grandfather owned 300 acres of land. Uh, was a major moonshine distributor in the region. Uh, was it legal back then or no? It was Ill illegal. Okay, so he was, he was a bootlegger. He was a bootlegger. Okay. Um, one of my grandma, my grandmother, my father's side was a, a business person. A lot of business people. Education is the second area. We have a lot of teachers. One of my first cousins is like second in charge at, at the PTO for the, you know the U.S. And then in, in the uh, um, political arena. But what I consistently saw was, you know, my first book is called A DNA of Achievers. It's the DNA of our family, on, on my side of the family, are achievers. My grandmother had twin brothers, Sydney and Gidney, which also explains Beyonce having twins uh, mm. from the DNA. So I, I make this point only to say that uh, it's not surprising, nor should it be surprising, the overachiever in myself, if you know my history in corporate America and my history in the music industry, and it wouldn't be unusual that both of my kids are overachievers. And I think that you'll see the same in my grandkids, of being very smart, hardworking, and overachieving. Right, because I remember I, I, had, uh, I was watching an interview with Meek Mill, and he was saying how he was, on a, he was sharing a, a private jet with Jay. Mm -hmm. And, and Jay-Z was was FaceTiming Blue, and Blue was speaking to him in Spanish. Because mm -hmm. I guess she had a tutor that was teaching her multiple languages and so forth. The same exact thing that Solange and Beyonce, uh, that Tina and I did with them. Oh, so they, they knew multiple languages also? Yes. We had uh, uh, a, a Hispanic maid, uh, and we wanted her to just speak Spanish around the kids. Oh, so Beyonce speaks and Solange speaks Spanish? Beyonce has a number one Spanish album. Okay, I thought you were up on it. I, I'm not up I on it. I thought you were up I on it. I am not up now on you it. You just disappointed me. I'm sorry. I let you down. Number one Spanish album and you don't know about it. You I mean, I just... guess the title speaks Spanish very well. I, I wasn't I wasn't bumping <laughs> it when it came out. You know what I mean? Are you messing with me right now or does she really have a Spanish no, album? No, I don't mess with people. I'm, a, I'm that intellectual nerd guy. That likes to research. So okay, here we go. Irreplaceable. Yes, irreplaceable. Irreplaceable. Aha. Aha! I didn't know this. I know. Okay. Well, based on Meek watching your granddaughter speak Spanish, that he enrolled his son in private school and realized that he. And that shows the impact of when you do some positive things with the media and use your platform for positive. You can affect people in a positive way.